Uh, if I could give any advice to producers, it would just be be aware that it is out there and that we do see it from time to time, uh, especially in community pasture situations. You know, the threat, you know, it seems to be that it's becoming very real. So, so if you're going to be putting cows in the community pasture situations, please be aware that, that we do deal with this organism and you want to make sure you're putting your cows into a pasture that have control measures in place and follow them. The Beef Research School on RealAgriculture.com is brought to you by the Beef Cattle Research Council. Trichomoniasis and uh, vibriosis, or nowadays we call it campylobacteriosis, are infectious causes of infertility in the cow. Uh, both of them probably cause early embryonic death. That means that a cow would lose her pregnancy probably within the first 90 days. We probably wouldn't even see that happen other than in that group of cows that is uh, successfully pregnant, lo and behold, within a short period of time, you'd see them return to service. And that's probably how producers recognize that there's a problem. They think those animals are safely pregnant. It gets to be early in the fall, and suddenly we've got too many cows coming back into heat. Trichomoniasis is a small parasite that inhabits the reproductive tract and Campylobacter is a bacteria that lives in the reproductive tract of the bull and the cow. They're transmitted venereally, what makes them different than any other cause of early embryonic death or abortion is that they are truly infectious and contagious, but contagious only in the sense that they must be transmitted by breeding. Usually we begin with carrier animals and that's a whole big discussion of how carrier animals do develop and those carrier animals when they uh, present to an uninfected herd or, or a non-immune herd, uh, it, they uh, very quickly can uh, transmit that disease by breeding to a non-infected cow. Uh, what ends up happening is there's a infection that develops within the uterus uh, and uh, that inflammation means that the uterus, uterine environment is incompatible with maintaining that pregnancy and that pregnancy will be terminated. And uh, the earlier it is, the, the less observable it is and as you get on in gestation, some of those fetuses, especially with trichomoniasis, they are mummified which is pretty unique to that particular parasitic infection. Uh, this past fall, fall of 2012, uh, at Highview Animal Clinic where I work, we dealt with two outbreaks of trichomoniasis. So two outbreaks in one fall is is a lot more than what the clinic is used to dealing with in the past and and trichomoniasis it's t it can be potentially very devastating in one, one of our herds that we dealt with um, the number of open cows that we saw was encroaching on the 70 percent mark so seven out of every 10 cows came up open typically the numbers are more around 30 or 40 percent open cows so potentially very, very devastating for, for cattle producers. Prevention, uh, I think most would agree, is probably dependent exclusively on biosecurity. 
So if you have that sort of infertility in your herd in one year, then you better prepare for the next year. So that means uh, have your bulls checked uh, for either trick or vibrio. Uh, uh, and uh, I think most veterinarians would recommend that if those bulls are getting on in years, say greater than three to four years of age, uh, and you've had a severe problem, they would recommend you start over again and uh, get rid of those older bulls because the infection, trichomoniasis, is very difficult to clear in the older bull. There's almost nothing you can do about that, so probably the safest thing, rather than test them over and over again, would just be to start afresh. Uh, it's probably not quite the same with uh, Camphlobacter uh, or Vibrio. Those bulls probably after a sufficient period of time, they're probably more easily able to clear the infection, although it's pretty difficult to know. It's only recently that uh, we have some uh, pretty decent tests in Western Canada to evaluate whether our management strategy for that particular disease uh, is worth doing and probably immunization for Camphlobacter probably is more effective than for trichomoniasis. And uh, probably the main thing to remember if you're vaccinating for Camphlobacter is, is to do it fairly close to the breeding season so that that corresponds to their peak immune response in the cow herd when the bulls will be turned out.